A tugboat is marine vessel that assists other ships, to move by pulling or pushing them through direct contact or towline. Tugboat deserves to be considered the hero of the sea, because of its special task, this vessel often pulls or pushes ships, that cannot move well on their own, possibly due to their large size, cumbersomeness or in crowded harbors, narrow canals, or completely immovable ships such as dead engines, wrecks, barges, oil rigs. In this video, we are seeing firsthand the tugboat building operations at Group Ocean Shipyard, Canada. This tugboat has a total length of 25 meters. According to design, it will be divided into three main blocks. These blocks will be manufactured separately from each other. The steel plates after being cut by the laser cutter will be transferred to the welding stage, where the welders will weld the frame first, then weld the surrounding body. After the three separate blocks are completed, the crane and pulley system in the shipyard will lift and move these three blocks together. Here, welders continue to weld and connect these three blocks into a complete tugboat. To ensure quality, after you complete the construction of the tugboat, it will be tested for its ability to operate at sea. It is then towed back and the workers will proceed to paint the tugboat. And here is the complete look of the tugboat, it is ready to be launched and operational at sea. This is Wartzilla's production of propellers and blades at the Delivery Center Santander, Spain. This foundry is a state-of-the-art foundry, that can manufacture fixed pitch propellers, controllable pitch propeller blades, Energo Pro Fin and all other components and bronze alloy castings. The propeller manufacturing process includes stages, pattern manufacturing, molding, casting, mold breaking, machining, grinding, polishing, blue fit test and assembly. Let's take a closer look at this exciting production process. MSC Meraviglia is a cruise ship owned and operated by MSC Cruises, built at the Chantiers de l'Atlantique shipyard in Street Nazaire, France. Engineers have been designing this ship since March 2014. The design process took place continuously for 20 months with 1 million hours of work by engineers. A total of 23,000 design files were created in this process. This is a huge amount of work with a huge number of design hours. When looking at the details of this shipbuilding process, you will be amazed by the huge numbers. 
A total of 35,000 tons of steel were used to build the ship with an average of 14,000 meters of steel being cut weekly by a state-of-the-art laser cutting machine system. The hull building process alone took 12 months of work with 1.5 million hours of work by engineers, mechanics and welders. The entire ship is assembled by 50 mega blocks. All these mega blocks are independently manufactured and then put together. To be able to lift, move and assemble the ship's 50 mega blocks, engineers had to use a giant crane. This was the largest crane in Europe at that time. Next is the process of closing the bulb. With special design, the giant bulb Giup Kantau modifies water flow, reduces resistance va increase speed effectively. After completing the construction of the ship and installing its propulsion, the ship will be painted by large capacity paint machines. The MSC Meraviglia is the lead ship in MSC's new Vista project ships, the Meraviglia class, which can carry 4,500 passengers. As of June 2017, when the ship officially entered service, it was the sixth largest cruise ship in the world. Galliot Floating Production Storage and Offloading, FPSO, is owned and operated by Vor Energy AS. It is used for an oil production project at the offshore Galliot oil field in the Barents Sea region of Norway. The Galliot FPSO was engineered, constructed and completed by Hyundai Heavy Industries in Ulsan, South Korea. Galliot has been in operation since 2016. Its total mass is 64,000 tons with a diameter of 107 meters. After completion, the Galliot FPSO was shipped from Korea to the Galliot oil field, Norway within 60 days at sea.